Okay, it's recording now. So here we are, Stephanie, live. I mean, we're we're hunting around the Blab universe for the rest of the epic entrepreneurs. There's five of us that are starting, uh, you know, kind of gathering together. We call ourselves five generations of epic entrepreneurs. Now, uh, Stephanie, let's just be honest. We've got the 20s, the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, the 60s. We right here, without our other epic entrepreneurs right now, are... We, we are like bookend, okay? You're the 20s, I'm the 60s, but it's all good. What do you think about that? I think it's awesome. You know, it will never cease to amaze me how I've been able to connect with people who are nowhere near my age and still manage to connect with them because I don't believe that age, I mean, age is a number, okay? But I don't believe that it has to influence how you behave and who you interact with. So I think it's actually pretty cool. Yeah, I, I couldn't agree with you more. You know, um, I do a lot of training on on marketing and so forth and on being online. And, and I, I say sort of the main maven of streaming video. You know, I love using all of it. Um, and I tell people, look, I got an electric typewriter for high school graduation, for Pete's sake. If I can do this, you know, I, I tell people, I don't want you to look at me and say, wow, I can never do that. I want you to look and go. If this chick can do it, so can I. I mean, she's in her 60s. They, they, you know, they didn't even have computers when she was coming along. So what excuse do I have? But see, right. you know, I'm really you. excited um, to have you because as an epic entrepreneur, let me just explain to everybody here. Um, everybody's trying to call in and usually I have that off. Oh, I think I was walking a while ago. Sorry about that. Um, but just for people who are coming on, let me just explain what we're doing. We said, you know, there's a lot of uh, people in the various generations that have a lot of experience in being an entrepreneur. And I got to think of myself, I know these powerful women entrepreneurs. Now, when I say that, it doesn't mean that only women are going to be able to be involved. I mean, let's face it, guys all the time are training women entrepreneurs. We're just yeah. reversing that. We're saying we are the chicks with some great power to share about how to be an entrepreneur. I've been one for over 35 years. Stephanie can't make that claim because she's not even that old. Can you believe it? Um, but anyway, this is what we want to do. We want to start January 2nd offering people what we call Get Your Biz Lean in 2016. With my Southern accent, that kind of rhymes, you know. But <laughs> Which I find hilarious, by the way, Donnie, since yeah, I'm yeah, actually yeah. from the South and you're not. <laughs> <laughs> well, Stephanie, have you ever run into people... Uh, when you were working with them, I know you're a great coach and, and entrepreneur yourself, but they kind of get to the end of January and they're looking around going, I didn't get done what I wanted to accomplish. I haven't done anything. Oh, my year is toast. Have you ever had that happen with people you coach? All the time. And it never ceases to amaze me how people will in December, they're sitting there going, you know what? I things are just crazy right now. I'm just going to I'm going to restart in January. And I look at them every time and I'm like, okay, I've been doing this long enough to know that if you want to wait till January to restart, you're setting yourself up for failure. Yeah. You are going to have a huge struggle to get things going in January because of this little idea we call momentum. Yeah. And I love to ask people what takes more gas, what burns more gas when you're driving, getting your car up to speed or turning the wheel a little bit and changing direction. Yeah. And, and then I ask, okay, well, which takes more time? And they always give me the same answer. Well, getting the car up to speed takes more time. And I say, that's exactly the point. So why are you waiting? You're going to start getting yourself up to speed, maybe middle of January. Cause of course you'll need time to recover from the holidays. Yeah. And then it'll be middle of January. And then by the end of January, you're going to look around and go, oh my gosh, what happened? Ha ah, I, oh, I didn't get anything done. There goes a 12th of my year. Man, this isn't going to be my year. It just ruins the whole year. You're sitting there going, oh, well, I guess this isn't going to be my year. And you know what, Stephanie? They often do the same thing the next year. Now, yeah. I'm not, this is not a judgment. All of us have been there, done that at some point in our life, because um, when I talk to entrepreneurs, I ask them to tell me their biggest failure. And if they can't name a failure, I go, well, you haven't been an entrepreneur long enough. <laughs> because honestly, as you go along in life as being an entrepreneur, and Stephanie, you're younger, so you may not have experienced that. At your age, I had not. Oh, I was a golden girl. Everything I touched worked. <laughs> 
But you know what? Some of the things I learned along the way from my failures were so incredibly important. And, and what we're talking about here is one of them is yeah. not being prepared. And so what I, I had a couple of ideas. Number one was to have great people like yourself and Cheryl Bassett, who, as I said, can't join us in and, and Jennifer uh, Santoro. She we've been looking for this fifth lady for like several months. And all of a sudden this week I found her um, and she had sent me the dates that she could join with us because, you know, she's kind of like new with our group. And she said, well, I can join uh, the 10th and, and uh, the 31st, but not the 17th. And she just texted me. She said, oh, I said that wrong. I meant I can join the 17th and the 31st. So here's the deal. I want let, to let people know we're going to have like these blabs that are kind of like uh, pre to the time that we're going to launch the Get Biz Lean in 2016, 30 day epic business challenge. OK, 30 days, because we know that if we can get your mind going in the right direction and you really commit to those 30 days, you're not going to have that excuse that you normally have of, oh, my year's toast. I haven't done anything. So mm -hmm. Stephanie, share with them a little bit about how we're going to approach that and having our motivation Mondays and we'll all be together and then how we're going to each take a week. Why don't you kind of share a little bit about what you're going to be doing in that? Yeah. So um, we've, we've broken it out. We kind of looked at what do we really need to make sure? What are, what are the areas? Let's put it this way. What are the areas that people tend to fall apart uh, in getting their year running? And we said, okay, what we're going to do is the areas where people tend to fall apart and get keeping their year going is um, we're, we're going to focus on one each week. So the first week we're going to talk about your mindset, shifting your mind to get it ready to actually make something great out of it. Because, you know, I was teaching yesterday and I looked at people and I said, if you, if you don't have the right mindset, you can't accomplish anything. So we'll work on the mindset. Second week, I'm going to get to take over there and we're working on the finances. I love working out, you know, which is funny as I say that, um, cause I was so not the math kid or the numbers kid. I'm still not the math kid or the numbers kid, but for some reason I know how to make them work well. Uh, so we're going to talk about how to get your numbers plan for where your numbers need to be and then how to actually make those numbers really, really happen. I'm excited about that one because it seems to be one of the biggest trouble pro problems people have is finances. Um, and then did you want me to talk about weeks three and four? Or you want to take over? Well, you know, I wanted to say something about what you're saying. Yesterday, I, I talked with a lady named Valerie Mosley, who I'm going to start working with. This lady is absolutely amazing with what she has done. If uh, people go to heartbeans, dot -E com, amazing site she's put together where uh, she's going to interview some young gals that I am personally mentoring to put together a suicide prevention program here in our community. And she wants to interview them. But Valerie, I mean, she was voted as one of the top 50 powerful women in America. Uh, she's been in finances all her life, strategic uh, investments. And she now takes her time and goes and teaches financial literacy to high school students. And she actually has, instead of a calculator, hey, get this, Stephanie, you're going to love using this during your week. It's called a calculator. Calculator dot. Uh, let's see, is hers the dot org? I believe it is. It's either dot com or dot org. We were on it last night. I think it's heartbeans dot com and calculator dot org. And what she has people working on. There's two parts to it. One is you can put in like people don't realize this. If you put in twenty five hundred dollars, that that is your debt. And then let's say you have most credit cards have it, probably at least a twenty three percent. Right, right. Yeah, just to clarify real quick, um, it is .org. Do not, do not go to .com. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. .org. So .org. the great thing about it is, you like you put in like so, so, so people don't think about twenty five hundred in debt being as much. They spend mm -hmm. that so quickly on things that are not going to have any value. But that's a huge amount when you look at twenty three percent, even which is low according to some credit cards. They nail you at twenty nine percent. And let, let's say you pay. Uh, I think what I put in there was to pay back 50 or $75 a month. I think it was 75. It takes 54 months of your life to pay back $2,500. Now that, that stares you in the face. So she's got these great things. You can just put in the numbers and the numbers don't lie. I mean, you know, you don't have to be great at math, uh, Stephanie, to realize 
that you just put this in there, you stare at the numbers, this is the way it is. It's one of the few areas that's pretty black and white, you know, in our life. So anyway, you're going to be talking about finances and um, we're going to start off with uh, what I call the mind shift. And this is a shift from using the word mindset. And the reason is, I tell people, look, I don't care if you've got a negative or a positive mindset. What does the word set say? It's set. It's not changing. And, you know, sometimes even though uh, a lot of people have a positive mindset, they use that to kind of block getting in touch with the reality of what they're dealing with. And it, it keeps them kind of, from kind of moving to that next level because they just sort of cloak things in this positive Pollyanna thing. And yeah. so I'm going to be working with people how to have a mind shift because a mind shift is moment to moment, you know, day by day. It's proactive. It's interactive rather than just the wording of a mindset. So that's one of the shifts that we're going to make on that. I'm going to be covering that first week. And then the next week is going to be with relationships. So think about this. We're looking at your mind shift because nothing happens until our mind sees it, changes it and so forth. And then we're going to come in with finances with you, Stephanie, because that's huge. The next week is relationships. And Ms. Cheryl Bassett, who actually has a, a project called kitchentableconversations.com. Go check that out. She's doing amazing things. Now, that was one of the next great ideas, okay, in the world is voted in the universe. And Brendan Burchard was one of the judges who voted on that. So everybody probably knows him. He's one of the premier coaches and trainers in the world. He's just starting an Oprah series. So if you know that that caliber of person selected Cheryl, you know, you're going to get great information and coaching about relationships. And, and Stephanie, we got business and, and personal relationships, but it all impacts us. How do you find that? I've funny you ask about that one uh, because I've been dealing with a couple of my clients on this one where you're most entrepreneurs, solopreneurs have a very, very hard time yeah. differentiating their business life from their personal life. And so your business relationships get out of whack. It tends to affect your personal relationships. Your personal relationships out of whack. It definitely affects your business relationship. Um, I've just seen it cause problem after problem. And it's interesting to me how even if you do disconnect your personal relationships from your business relationships, there's still a bridge yeah. that's you. And if your relationships affect you at any, in any way at all, um, then it's going to end up impacting you. And if those relationships are struggling, guess what will also struggle? Yeah. I yeah. think you're right, Stephanie. One of the things I know that I deal with in coaching people is the ones that are solopreneurs uh, in, in a specific business, or even if they're with a team, a group, an organization, you know, whether they're a, a mortgage broker or whether they're with a direct sales company, those people have a dream about being an entrepreneur. And, you know, an entrepreneur, unless you are passionate about it, it can be an isolated and lonely road at times. That's one of the reasons we're wanting to give support to people, because here's the thing. Not everybody. And I say this and I, I, I tell people, you got to get this. It's not somebody else's obligation to love your dream, yeah. but you can invite them to respect your dream. And that's a distinction. I mean, yeah. You know, your dream is your dream. If you let somebody else stop it, that's you. That's not them. That means your dream was never really that strong. It was never really your passion. And, and so, but, but asking them to respect it is fair. But how can they respect your dream if you don't share it with them, if you don't let them know what you're feeling? And if you don't let them know when they have disrespected you in an adult manner, you know, yeah. that wasn't okay with me. I realize that you want to do what you do and I respect and I ask questions about your job and what you're doing, but please give me the same courtesy. So what do you run into with that, Stephanie? I've been very, very fortunate um, to not have trouble with that with my personal relationships yet. Um, and I'm very, very careful. I mean, you guys know uh, that was 
that was my my first book I chose to be on the power your friends have yes. um, over where you end up in your life. And so I'm I'm extremely cautious. I always feel like if I wrote the book, I kind of have to live up to it at least a little bit. <laughs> and so I'm very, very careful about who I spend my time with. And, you know, someone's only going to get maybe one or two negative comments before I start to kind of mm, cut them out of my life because I, you know, there's a difference between a negative comment and common sense. Yes. Someone trying to help me, you know, brainstorm potential problems and them just being negative just for the sake of being negative. Right. And um, so I've been, you know, I don't have much to comment on that because I have not had to deal with that very much. I'm very quick to when someone is not there with me 100 percent to say, all right, well, that's great. Why don't you go your way? And yeah, I'll go mine. You know, I've been very fortunate throughout my life uh, in the same way. And my spouse is just over the top supportive, you know. Um, so I, I'm very fortunate that way. And it, and it really, you know, it really hurts my heart uh, when I see people dealing with that. Because I know they have to have a special strength. Uh, because, you know, you just don't go and divorce who you're with um, just because they don't get you in that way. But you're going to have to sometimes bring them along. You know, I find that if people can uh, learn how to share a little bit more about what they do, um, then then they can allow the person to kind of step in a space and support them. Uh, yeah. but sometimes, you know, it's just like, I don't understand what you do. And, and people get their defensive mode going. So I feel like we're going to be able to offer people a lot of strength in that. And the yeah. last one, the last, well, I say the last, it was four weeks because we were still looking for what we called the mystery woman. Um, mm -hmm. And so we put January into four weeks. And the last is the physical because when your, you know, when your physical health is not uh, optimal, it impacts what you can do. So yeah. if you want to really bring your health forward in 2016, bring your wealth forward in your business, bring your relationships forward, bring your mind shift really to the table and do some great things. And these are the kind of things we're going to be talking about. Um, mm -hmm. And then Stephanie, I, I will say, and, and Yasmin, and Yasmin and I may be kind of co-doing the first week and the fourth week because Yasmin's forte, like mine is really in, you know, working with people on their mind and so forth. And, right. um, and so we may kind of co-do those 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 two weeks together. And um, the last, I'm calling this now, the mystery woman has been solved. Her name is Jennifer Santoro. She's an amazing coach. In fact, her coaching model, and she's in her 30s. That's what we were looking for. We had the 20s, the 40s, 50s, the 60s covered. So she's in her 30s. And her coaching model was actually adopted by Florida State University. And she has published... Uh, papers about this, but she's working on a new article about entrepreneurship and problem solving and the pro process of that. So she's going to do a bonus week that I think is going to really nail down some of that for people. That's going to be fantastic. And um, just so people will know, our process is that January 2nd, we're going to kick off. Okay. That's a Saturday, but 11 a.m. Pacific time, uh, 2 p.m., Eastern time is when we're going to kick off. Okay. And we're going to do it similar to how we're going to do our, my, our, our motivation Mondays, our motivation Mondays are going to be each Monday. Uh, Stephanie came up with that. That's a great uh, terminology for it. Motivation Mondays. Let's get ready. Those motivation Mondays. Here's how they're going to look. They're going to have a 15 minute blab. Okay. We're just going to get right to it. And then we're going to switch right over to hangouts because we can screen share and hangouts, share visuals, kind of get into the nuts and bolts and do a deeper dive that we can't quite do on Blab. So Stephanie, what I thought we would do, we're kind of brainstorming in the middle. This is how entrepreneurship is. You know, it's flexible, it's spontaneous. That's why we had one mother who has six, six people in her uh, family and has had to hit the road. We've got Yasmin, who's an amazing coach. Let me just tell you about her with a background in, in corporate America. But she made a shift in her life. She decided to have a baby after the age of 40, and she has a young child. But great for you entrepreneurial mothers who have young children. So we got to get Yasmin on Twitter so she can get onto the blast. I think she's here, actually. Oh, she's here? Okay, let me see then. 
Yeah, I was trying to get her to hit the call in button, but I don't know if she's. Uh, I'm not seeing her down the side here. Let me. Yes, just... Bajan. Is that not her? Where? She says, I'm here. Open seat. Oh, she says she's here. She's not showing up on the sidebar for me. Let me just look yeah. again. She says, You can't see me. Yeah, uh, we're, we're looking for you. Um, hang on a second. Do you have, hey, Yasmin, do you have a button to call in? It should be kind of in the center of your screen. Try pushing that. Yeah, because we, I've got, I've got to see you. There you are. Good job. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm opening it up. <sighs> hey. There's Yasmin coming in. Good deal. Nice. In a moment, she'll be here. Takes a moment to pick <laughs> it in, but uh, it looks like we've we've got her in. So anyway, what I'm saying is, we're we're gonna be looking at these various things. Uh, January second, okay, is a Saturday, and then mm -hmm. on the fourth of January, we'll have our Motivation Monday. So I thought it would be best if we kind of kept those as 15 minutes of blab, you know, uh, segue people over to the Hangouts. And then the rest of the week, that week, I will actually be doing a hangout every day um, at a specific time. And when we give you the way to get to that, you'll be able to get to that hangout. And so on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, it'll just be fine. And you'll come to that hangout. Now, let me just say this. We're doing blabs leading up to our January 2nd date. So we've got... Uh, we're kind of off a little bit from Mondays or anything else, but we're doing Thursday blabs. We're doing today, which is the 10th. We're doing the 17th blab, and we're doing one on the 31st, New Year's Eve. Because you know what? We take being an entrepreneur serious. We don't care when it is. We do whatever it takes, you know, and that's part of being an entrepreneur is learn to kind of jive with that. Now, let me see. Yeah. If, uh, uh, hey, Yasmin, you're going to have to turn on your camera. Make sure your camera's on. She appears to be here, but I'm not hearing her. I think um, when I did it, I had to give my um, browser permission to access my mic and my camera. Yeah, the first time she may not have done that yet. So give all the permissions, Yasmin. Um, but, you know, what do you think the value, Stephanie, of, uh, oh, she went off. Okay, if she shows back up, I'll, I'll let her in. <laughs> well, how do I do that? Um, not sure. As soon as I clicked to join, it told me I needed to approve it. Yeah, I approved her in. Okay. Done. Okay, try joining again. Yep. Okay, I'm going to approve her again. So see, y'all, th this is the fun of getting on the new platform, you know? And as entrepreneurs, we just go, whatever it hey. takes. Yay! Woo -woo. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, and my God. Me. Okay, so so see, my like, look, this is a great lesson about being an entrepreneur. If you run into a roadblock, don't stop. You figure out how to go around, how to go over, whatever it takes. Mm -hmm. So Yasmin is a, a long-term entrepreneur. She's persistent. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't matter. So, Yasmin, welcome. Thank you so much. I appreciate you uh, walking me through that. As you know, technology is not my forte. But, you know, it's funny you say that, Dottie, because I was just thinking, because as a coach, I want to tie in, like, the powerful move forward. Like, when you get blocks, you literally took the words out of my mouth. Like, don't quit. Don't stop. Let go of looking good. Right? <laughs> Let go of looking good and keep moving forward and show up for people, you know, so yeah. it all works out. And, and, you know, it takes the team. Thanks, guys. So mm -hmm. like everything can be a teaching opportunity. Absolutely. And the great thing about being an entrepreneur, let me just show you. I have on my long johns and my, my little uh, Your eggs. Yes. Now, those are long johns. So all you have to do is you get out of the shower. You just let your hair dry. Didn't do anything. Put on a. Decent looking shirt that doesn't have food spills. You know, I thought that was professional. Um, anyway. Oh, this is so exciting. You know, we've never done the blab before. And 
you know, new technology and, and new ways to connect, I'm always fascinated by. So um, with these little nuances that we're learning with Blab, which is different from Google Hangouts and things like that, I have to say it was outside my comfort zone. But again, it's like, you know, when you got, you know, Coach Dottie here walking you through it, it's awesome. You know, and Stephanie, you were so great encouraging me. I just, I have to say like, that is such a great opportunity for who we are for each other and who else is going to be as part of our epic entrepreneur group because things don't go perfectly, you know, in life. And you just got to move through it and let go of the perfection and how it's supposed to look. And I just wanted to say thank you because it's a great way to, you know, start off who we are for each other and for our group, you know? And I think that goes, Dottie, what you were talking about earlier with the relationships thing, you really have to have people around you who are going to help you get through that. You know, yeah. we can't, the, my, my coach has something he likes to say all the time. He says, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. Yeah. Um, and uh, say that again, think, Stephanie. slow it down and say it again for people. If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. Oh, I love that. Before I've not heard that. I, I know I hadn't either. It took me a while to wrap my head around that one. He has a lot of sayings that he'll like throw at me and I have to hear it like 10 or 12 times before I get it. But then I get it and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's genius. He's like, I've told that's you that a million times. Need it, you know, because we have to hear things uh, several times and yeah. sometimes we say it because we're excited and passionate about it. We've already got it. And we say it really fast. And I was just like, that is such a gold nugget. I love yeah. it. And you know, this goes back to why we're even doing this. I myself, my daily intention is I want to connect. I want to engage. I want to innovate. I want to collaborate. I want to empower and I want to leverage our unique collective talents to form epic strategic partnerships with epic people all over the world. And so that means I can't sit here by my lonesome and plus, think about it, Yasmin. Yes, let's say this was something you were doing by yourself. You might have just said, I'm not going to do this. I don't know what to do next. I'm stuck. And, and it's just challenging. So I thought, who are the great women I know who I would love to work with and hang out with and blab with and, and who have a lot of talent? So I do want to just take special time right now that Yasmin is on. And Stephanie, I want to acknowledge you, Stephanie, for the power of who you are. You are very, very epic. At 26 years old, I think it is. I mean, it kind of blows my mind. So see, the way you look at it is Stephanie and I are the reverse of each other. I'm 62. She's 26. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't thought of that before. <laughs> <laughs> and well, I, I was when we started all of this. I might be 27 now. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, wait a minute. I think you did have a birthday. That's right. I did. It was yeah, right after my wedding. That's so. right. You, you gained a year. Well, I'm not going to get another year until, uh, you know, September. But anyway, <laughs> you have written a profound <laughs> that I want you to share with people about, because um, I think you hit the nail on the head with something that has been touched on in books. It's yeah. gotten a paragraph. It's gotten a chapter, but it's yeah. not gotten its due uh, calling. And so yeah. share with us a little bit about that. Let me see. I think I have a copy around here somewhere. Um, so the book I wrote, the <clears throat> friend, friend power, yeah, friends friend you power. choose, change the course of your life. And I I'd sat down a while back and I just looked around at all the people who were hanging out with everyone like them. And I looked at this seminar and all these people are all trying to become friends with everybody else. And I looked at it and my first thought was, you know, all these guys are just trying to become friends with everyone else in case they don't make it. And one of these other people do. And so they just want to be friends just in case someone else makes it. And then the more I thought about it, I was like, well, you know, I think there's a couple more reasons that they hang out with each other, you know, like begets like and all that. And the more I thought about it, the more I realized it started to impact everything. You know, my sister, when she lived in Texas, she had a very specific set of beliefs and she moved to Washington and we started to watch as her beliefs started to shift. And she went from wanting to have children to she's pretty sure she's never having children now. Mm -hmm. And at first I was like, I don't really get this. And then I went up to hang out with her. And guess who she's hanging out with? Everyone who's sitting there talking about how they're not going to have kids and this and that. And I just looked and I was like, every one of Sarah's beliefs 
are reflected in her friends. Uh -huh. So then the question is, did she pick friends who influenced those beliefs or did those friends create those beliefs after she picked them? Mm -hmm. And she's been hanging out with them for a while. I kind of think it's, it's both. You look for people who I talk about in the book, you have a story you're telling yourself about the way life is. So you look for people who support that story, who believe the same way so that you don't, you feel normal. But at the same time, we look for those people, then we become more entrenched in our beliefs and more entrenched in our beliefs. And so whether you believe you can make it huge or not, that'll be changed, determined by the people you spend your time with. Yeah. I was so excited. I don't know if I should, should have been excited about this one, but I was working with one of my coaching clients earlier this morning and um, I brought up his significant other from when we first started working together about nine months ago. And the significant other, there's some, some not a good fit for where I could see this particular client wanted to go. Mm -hmm. And so I looked at him and I said, you know, how's it going with, with your significant other? And he goes, oh, we're done. He's like, I didn't tell you that. I was like, no. He was like, yeah, I realized that she's just holding me back. And we had a conversation. She's not willing to drop the people she's hanging out with that are not working out for us. And I can't afford to be around those type of people anymore, unfortunately. And, you know, let's be honest, there were a lot more issues there than just the people she was hanging out with. And I was like, really? And I was like, when did that happen? And he's, she goes, oh, it was about, about three, four months ago. And I was like, that's when the big change started to happen. Okay. I started to see you take everything a lot more seriously. He goes, oh yeah, I never even thought about that. But well, it's just a perfect five example. Five people you hang out with, right? Uh -huh. It's it's a culmination of the five people you hang out with most in your life. Yeah. Um, so if you want, uh, so my personal training or personal professional training background, not personal trainer. Um, one of the greatest things I learned that I want to share is not only who you set yourself up with and who you surround yourself with, absolutely takes you where you want to go. For example. Think and grow rich, right? Yeah. Mm. Masterminding, you know, set yourself up, goal setting, all of that. But also, if you don't like where you are in your life right now, who you surround yourself will make a difference. So if you like where you are, keep that going. If you don't, go seek out the people that you do want to go hang out with and have those kinds of empowering conversations. Just kind of yeah. dovetailing on what you're saying. So anytime, for example, I've done real estate investing. I was like, how do I do that? I started taking classes, started surrounding myself the people who were real estate investors, mm -hmm. one professional coach and speaker. What do I do? I'm going to go seek out people who are entrepreneurial coaches, speakers, trainers. So then back to what you're saying, I feel normal <laughs> around people like that and entrepreneurs. I feel like mm -hmm. I'm a fish within water, but yet we hold each other, uh, each other accountable in a way that's loving and supportive where we want to go and where we want to grow. But absolutely one of the, best things I learned was if you want to shift your life, take a look at the people you're hanging out with. Like you just said, Stephanie, absolutely. Yeah. And if you want to go somewhere in your life, go find out where those people are hanging out and go physically put yourself there with those people and yeah. learning how with them and see how you can support and be supported. So I just really, I'm, I'm chomping at the bit because I feel like Stephanie, what you've done is so powerful because it's been my experience and what a privilege that you've, you've, you know, created this amazing five generations of women, the talent that you've put together, just such synergy and such yeah. like mindedness and such like heartedness. We're so excited to be able to give back to the community that we want to serve. So again, this is another example, Stephanie, to your point. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, that's what I did. I just looked at who are the powerful women that I know have different gifts and different talents, but have a shared value system of what we want to do. I mean, we are different as night and day, all of us. Okay. But that's okay. Um, you know, Stephanie is, is uh, kind of at the beginning of some of her things that she's done already very powerfully already has a book in her twenties, just got married. Yasmin, let me say a few things about you. You are, such a powerful and epic woman. I mean, a coach. Um, and, and so I know that what you bring to the table is great. Just like Stephanie has this powerful book that she's done. You have powerful experience in corporate America. You left corporate America at, you know, to have a child after the age of 40. So you took a big shift, but yet 
you know, look what you represent a mom, uh, you know, a spouse who's in partnership with a family wanting to stay at home and be with your young child and give them the attention they deserve. And yet you still want something to give back because you know that you're so capable. So, you know, when, when we come together with these five generations of women, what we're really doing is we're bringing a resource to those of you who are looking. And one of the ways we're going to do that. So thank you, Yasmeen. Um, I know that uh, we've kind of gone through what we're going to be covering. And Yasmeen, I got an idea because I know that you and I, one of our main areas is about the mind shift and, and helping people through those. I have a favorite saying when I'm coaching somebody, um, I'll listen and I'll listen. And then I'll kind of say, because, you know, coaching is not advising, as we remind people. You're not there for therapy. You need therapy. That's another thing. Um, but but in my coaching, I often listen and then I'll go, well, let me ask you something. How's it working for you? And they kind of look at me and they go, it, it's not. And I go, well, there you go. That's a great record, you know, realization that it's not working for you. Okay, now let's talk about what you want to do and some proactive steps. You know, here's here's what I want you to work on for next week. Are we in agreement? Those kind of things. So, Yasmin, I think what we can do in our, um, you know, Get Your Biz Lean in 2016 is maybe co, co do the first and that fourth week. Does that make sense to you? That's, that's so perfect. That is actually um, uh, the area forte. And I do love to be able to work with you in collaboration because you have that great saying of mindset shift, like shifting a mind shift, for example. And so you bring nuances to the uh, whole mindset or mind shift um, aspect. And then I'll bring my own. And that's kind of like, I feel like what we're doing is like the view, <laughs> but like with our own, <laughs> you know, with our own um, gifts, talents, experience, and interpretation of how we can teach, share, coach, and pass on and pay forward. So I think the two of us would make a great team in being able to share from our different perspectives of our background on um, what mind shift or mindset or really breaking through your fears, actually. I mean, when people are trying to be an entrepreneur, they're not just trying, they really want to make it happen. They didn't just say, like, I didn't just say, I'm going to quit my corporate job after 13 years and just not have a backup. I mean, I could, but honestly, it's, I built a team around me and I had to have a mindset shift, huge fear in going from security to, to that. And then how do I then from there, how do I learn to market myself? How do I learn to do this, that? And then after not being in corporate America and having a baby, that was a huge mindset shift. Because like you, Stephanie, there, or like your sister, there was a period of time, honestly, where I wasn't even sure because I was so business oriented that it was possible for me. And then it happened. And then I really had to make that mind shift, you know? And then now blending the two, I can say of bringing the entrepreneur as well as the business and the mommyhood, if you will, together, mindset shift. So, and then you have your experience, Dottie, you know what I mean? To help pay that forward. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let me um, kind of segue because I, I haven't taken the time to share with people a little bit about my background. And uh, as the one representing the baby boomers, um, whether you're male or female out there, I think that I have a lot of experience to bring to the table. Uh, I, I currently uh, do training every Tuesday night on online marketing and helping small businesses, entrepreneurs, and so forth really discover how to do what I call the high tech, high touch. Uh, because I say, you know, we're not selling widgets here. We're not like telling a screw that you go by and you, you need to go buy this screw and you put in your MasterCard. Uh, we are people. And so we develop these warm relationships I do all over the world by combining that high tech with high touch, because I live in a really small town in Blaine, Washington, which is five minutes from the Canadian border, about 5,000 people. And so I started off coaching. My tagline is born to coach, uh, coached uh, women's basketball at the University of Kentucky. Uh, I became an entrepreneur. Uh, my business was small business of the year, um, Lexington Chamber of Commerce, first of all, and then uh, Small Business of the Year in the United States in the ASI industry, which is Advertising Specialties Institute. And from there, about eight years ago, being in Blaine, Washington, I decided I needed to learn everything I could about online marketing. And I, I got to tell you, you talk about being uh, not in my comfort zone. 
If y'all could have seen me, I tell people there's two things I said earlier about being an entrepreneur. If I ask you um, uh, what your failure is and you tell me you have none, then you haven't yet really been an entrepreneur. Um, and then my second thing is an online marketing, whether you're male or female, I say, if you cried at your computer, you've been so overwhelmed that they say, no, I say, oh, you haven't really dived into online marketing because you are going to be so frustrated. And I tell you what, it was a real different eight years ago. You know, we had to use this system and that system. I mean, so many systems to accomplish one thing where now I can have a system. Um, so, you know, what I'm doing now is I, I actually have, have developed a, a system a tool for helping people discover their epic code. Okay. Their epic personality code in under 90 seconds. And when you do that online, you actually get a detailed report. That's all about you. And I'm actually training in corporations. I have physical cards as well, just like this. And uh, I actually did this physical cards with a gentleman who ended up, I didn't know he was, but he was CEO of a billion dollar company. And he hired me to come in and train his top salespeople just off of 90 seconds. It's pretty powerful because what I did in that 90 seconds is I learned when he gave me back the cards, putting his values, we call this the VRB, the values relationship builder. When he put these cards in the order of what was most important to them and handed them back to me in less than 90 seconds, I knew how to speak to him in his epic language. And so I did. And, and you know, that's what actually got him to hire me in that moment without even having gone to the online component, without even had gotten his, uh, you know, his personality profiling, which we call that the epic tap tap stands for total assessment, personality profile, and it's a $75 value. And we're going to give each one of you that, but that's what I've been doing. And so segue into that. When we do this 30 day, get your biz lean in 2016, my um, book and course, which are actually called dare to take your epic journey, become an educator entrepreneur. And that's going to start February 1st. And, and the reason I say that I know that everyone, I mean, I know Stephanie, I know that Yasmin has a message inside of them that needs to put, be put out in the world in the form of a course, because I can teach you how to make six figures with your course. We can, and that's what I'm going to be helping people do is to literally get that message out of them into a format. And, and what I mean by that is when you have this, then you create your content one time. Okay. You may tweak it. You'll shift it. You'll change it. But you craft your message, you craft your content, you get your, we teach you how to get those original people, but you do a deeper dive with those original people. So I tell people you're not free until the message you were meant to share with the world is out there. Cause you'll always say, I wish I could have, would have done it, you know, blah, 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 blah. Why do people not do it? Cause they don't know how that's all. If they knew how they would be doing it. They have the message. They, they have that in them. I don't care if it's, you know how to teach people about fly fishing. Let's get your fly fishing course out there and have you train. What do you think Gary Vanderchuk did? What do you think he did? He took his love for wine and he created a whole business around that. Yeah. So this is what we're going to be doing. Um, Stephanie, what would you say right now? I'm going to give people a link here in a minute that is going to give them the opportunity to go discover their epic code. And here's why I say that. I know that all of you are extraordinary. You're professional, you're intelligent and you're a connector. But all of those kind of show up differently because we're a myth of things. And so we don't know what your epic code is and you don't know what your epic code is. And your epic code is going to help you understand how do I make my decisions in life? Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of different things about yourself and what you're curious about. So Stephanie, as we step into working with entrepreneurs during this 30 day program, when you'll specifically coach them, four days of one whole week after we have our motivation Monday that week on finances. What do you want to say to entrepreneurs who are thinking about this is complimentary, by the way, are you kidding yeah. me? 30 days with, you know, uh, we could, it, it doesn't get any better. It's so exciting. And I'm just looking at the time. Can I just blow you a kiss? Cause I do not want to go and interrupt you, Stephanie, but I have to jump off this. 
call and go, I know, can you believe it? It's already been I know, 50 We got you a little later. Later. So when let me go to you, yes. Oh, oh, what somebody has to say, I'm like, ah, but I have to go. <laughs> well, so, well, say it before you leave. Okay. No, Stephanie, you say, I want to hear what you have to say before no, I go. She can you know say, we can come back to her. You go ahead, Yasmin. And oh, what are you going to say to the entrepreneurs? Oh, um, hmm. don't procrastinate. Uh, really, don't procrastinate. Take it on now, Stephanie, what you said about waiting all the way to January. It's already, you're going to be behind the eight ball by then. You know, get the momentum now and enjoy your holidays, enjoy your family. But you deserve to achieve your dreams and we really want to help you. And we really want to support you in getting there. And we appreciate taking the time. So happy holidays. Mwah. We will uh, see you when next week. Is that right, Dottie? That's right. On the 17th. So I'm going to X you out. Thank you, Yasmin. Okay. Good to see you. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye. So, Stephanie, um, what would you say? What is your invitation to the entrepreneurs who might be looking? Why should they spend their time coming, hanging out with five generations of entrepreneurial women who've been there, done that, and have something to offer? Why should they do that? I'm trying to find something in, here we go. All right. So I'm actually going to read a quote. It's from Earl Nightingale's book, The Strangest Secret. I'm a big reader. I love reading. Can you show um, that again? Yep. Yeah, Earl Nightingale's The Strangest Secret. Yes, yes, yes. Love it. Um, and in this book, he says, uh, the problem is, he's talking about what the strangest secret is in the world and why so many, so few people achieve success. If you haven't gotten a chance to look up the book, go to YouTube, Google it, or look it up on YouTube. But they've got free copies of it all over the place. Um, but okay, so he says, the, the problem is, okay, well, so you say, you may say, if that is true, why don't people use their minds more? Well, I think they've figured out an answer to that one too. The problem is that our mind comes as standard equipment at birth. It's free. And the things that are given to us for nothing, we place little value on. Things we pay money for, we value. The paradox is that exactly the reverse is true. Everything that is really worthwhile in life came to us free. Our minds, our souls, our bodies, our hopes, our dreams, our ambitions, our intelligence, our love of family and children and friends and countries. All these priceless possessions are, th are free. All the things that cost us money are actually very cheap and can be replaced at any time. So I picked that particular section to read because I get it. This is free. And so for a lot of people, they look at it and go, yeah, whatever. You know, there, there's this idea that the more you charge and I've seen it, you know, the higher my coaching rates go up, the more people listen to me, the more they do exactly what I'm telling them to do. And then the better results they get. So I get it. There is something to be said for once you've paid for something, you're more likely to go all out and really do your best to make it happen. So totally, completely understand. Yep. However, in this instance, you have got five ladies on here who charge quite a bit for coaching and for consulting. And we are giving you guys the biggest gift we can. And that is we're helping you launch 2016. But here's the deal. It is totally up to you. You know, every talk that I do, I give this great talk about how, you know, the results you get in life are up to you and you're the only person who can determine what level you want to play at to achieve those results. And it's this huge, you know, sobering moment for a lot of people. And that is my point for you right now. You know, I hear people all the time who set big goals for themselves in 2000, you know, whatever the next year is. So in this case, people have set big goals for 2016 and they're not willing to put the effort forward to achieve those goals. So here's my, my note to you. I don't care whatever else you've already got going on. Maybe you've already set something else up that you're ready for. Maybe you haven't, but make this a focus for you. You know, I actually have a six month mentoring program that I'm having walking people through here local to the area. And this is actually going to be part of what I'm going to use and make all of these people go through this entire program. Because first of all, they've already paid for the six month mentoring program. This is just a great bonus for them. But there is going to be a lot of value. And this is going to change people's lives. Just this right here, right now. So it's free. Um, and I can tell you personally from figuring out what your code is and what it means, it gave me a lot of freedom to realize why I think and react the way I do. Mm -hmm. And that that's not a problem. I used to look at some of the things I would do as, uh, something I had to fix, something I had to change. And I finally realized, you know what? That's just who I am. That's, that's, who, that's how I operate. I have other strengths. Yeah. So 
jump on it because honestly, this is going to be at least $10,000 worth of value in one month. Absolutely. Thanks, Stephanie. And, you know, the other thing I think about, and it was from Valerie Mosley yesterday. I mean, this woman is so dynamite. I can't even begin to tell you. But she has this part on her website. We do it on, on our uh, 247epicconnections.com website as well. It's There it's called Pay It Forward. She says, too much has been given, much is required. In other words, we we can do a lot with our time. You know what I'm saying? But somewhere along the way, somebody has reached out to us. I'll guarantee you there is nobody that's where they're at without somebody having not having made an impact in their life. I mean, I get emotional thinking about it because I think back about all the people along the way who have inspired me, you know, and it's phenomenal just to, you know, to really dive in and think about that. So I think you're right, um, Stephanie, even though sometimes people don't have enough respect for something that's complimentary, this is our way of giving back because we so believe in people who are entrepreneurial and we want to support you. You know, we don't offer everything for free uh, or we wouldn't be entrepreneurs. We have that much sense to discern. You have your program. I mean, when people come in and take my, my educator entrepreneur because they want to learn how to get a course out in the world, that's not going to be free. It's going to be a great deal up until February 1st. They're going to get it for half price. But after that, everybody's going to be paying full price. So, you know, you work with people, but we really want to give. And I know we're going to gain, too. Our relationships are going to be cemented in ways that are going to impact us for many years to come with five generations of epic entrepreneurs. So thank you yeah. for that, um, Stephanie. I really appreciate it. And, and you know, um, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to end up with, I like little things like this. It was so much fun last night when the gals were here, where we were putting together their um, their program to um, suicide prevention feet is what they call it. SPF. Think about SPF protects you. That is going to be their program to work with high school students in our area. These ladies are 24 years old. So profound for them to be giving back. Why? Because they've been through some of these experiences where they were close to taking their lives at times and now they're going to give back because they don't want that to happen to anybody. They know the power behind groups and a friend and people who care and love about you. So anyway, that right there, uh, that says epicpreneurs.com, epicpreneurs.com. I'm going to put it in the chat bar down there, but here's what's going to happen. When you go there, you're going to be able to, I'm just going to ask you this. I'm going to say, go to that link, epicpreneurs.com. Look at the cards, the values. You're going to drag and drop those value cards left to right, you know, put them in first to fourth, according to what's most important to you. There's no right or wrong with this. Something's going to jump out to you more. You're all of that, okay? Yeah. It all makes up your epic code. But you're going to place those, and then you're going to click submit, okay? And then it'll take it from there. You're going to be able to get your $75 detailed Epic TAP, which again stands for Total Assessment Personality Profile. It's only, it doesn't even take you 90 seconds. You will be shocked at the information you get about yourself. All of us have done it. Now we know our codes. Uh, we, we know who to call on for certain things that maybe you're more geared in this particular way. But mm -hmm. once you get that, that's also going to lead you to how you can get to be a part of our Epic Entrepreneurs Business Challenge, our 30-day Get Your Biz Lean in 2016. So again, all you have to do is go to that link. Get your Which I posted your in the chat for you guys. Yeah, discover your epic code. And yeah. then that will lead you to the complimentary program that we have for you. And you're going to be able to get into that. And it's going to walk you right along as far as what we're doing. And guess what? We've also set up that program so that you can become an affiliate of it, so that if you want to share and let other people about come and get this program in the future, because, you know, there will be something where you can tap into a, a monthly um, report where you're going to get tons of tips for a very uh, minimal monthly if you want that. And if you want to promote that to other people, you can, you can be rewarded. I mean, we're like, we don't have to have the whole pie. We'd rather have 
some piece of the pie and share it with a lot of other people. So Stephanie, thank you for being on here. Anything you want to say before we click off? Thumbs up. Okay, that's good. Yep, that sounds good. You know what, guys? I'm excited for this. I'm excited for 2016. It's going to be a big year, and um, I know it's going to be a big year because I've decided to make it a big year. So the question is, how big do you want to make it? Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, listen. Hey, you know the great thing? Oh, my gosh. You ought to see all these little hands going up. I didn't <laughs> tell people, if you want to make a, a comment over there uh, on the right, you can. If you want to tweet this out, go ahead and tweet it out, Facebook it out. Because as soon as we end this, this is going to be recorded. Um, it'd be great. I'll upload it to YouTube. Uh, so, so we got some clapping. Oh, we love all the love. We love the love. We love the love. Okay. <laughs> so listen, thanks, Stephanie. So we'll see everybody on our next lab next Thursday. And uh, same time, 11 a.m. Uh, Pacific time, 2 p.m. Eastern time, wherever you are in the world. And uh, we'll see you then, Stephanie. And we'll have this some of the other five generations of women on here for us. Okay. Sounds great. Awesome guys. Bye. Thanks, Bye. Good to see you again.